Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dare to Daytona Career Mode series. It's been a little while since I recorded one of these. I pre-recorded last week's episode a week earlier because we had the hurricane coming and I just didn't know if we'd be out of power, internet down. Here in Florida, we've had hurricanes of varying destruction over the years where I've been without power for a week plus, I've been without internet for days even after the power came back, but thankfully this time around, we didn't really have any issues. There was a lot of flooding around us and the road to our neighborhood was actually closed for close to a week, but everything is sort of back to normal now. And let's see where we're gonna head today. Continuing the month of October, we're headed to Martinsville. We don't normally run well at short tracks, so let's hope for the best. So I preemptively made a couple changes based on what I remember from the other short tracks when we've gone to them the second time. We've had a lot of issues with uh, not being stable under braking and then the car being super squirrely coming out of the corner. So I made a shock change. I also messed with the gearing a little bit um, just because I remember we were getting close to that uh, limiter and since we've done some upgrades since the last time we were here i wanted to make sure we could uh go as fast as possible without feeling like i'm gonna crash every lap i also changed the car to manual shifting for this episode because every time we go to a short track it always wants to downshift us to third and that's really annoying trying to leave corners and it constantly downshifting. So we have done away with that. The car feels pretty Every good. Car is headed into the pit. Clear high. I just need to remember how to drive. If I can do that, I think we'll be all right. Ooh, that right front tire is angry. All clear. Carlo. That was your best lap ever. You're all hey, clear. Hey, look at that. We finally Carlo. put together a pretty good lap. You're all clear. The car head is pitted. My right front is extremely angry though, so I am gonna make some more changes and uh try to make this thing a little easier to drive so i went ahead and i made another round of changes including a gear change to try and keep us from hitting the shift light on the end of the straightaway just don't want to blow there. a motor clear low I might not be as fast as I was before, but at least the car should feel a little more planted and might be a little less likely to spin the tires coming out of the corner, so we might get two benefits here. I also did uh, decrease the right side camber, which I can already tell is making it not want to turn as much. However. BRB, just gonna, um, just gonna try and fix, there we go, pointed the right way again. Yeah, what I was trying to say was, <laughs> with the decreased camber in the right front wheel, I should have the tire temperatures a little more even across the board instead of the inside being like 30 degrees hotter than the outside. So that should help us a little bit with tire longevity, which I remember being a pretty big issue here. But uh, the big thing is going to be keeping it out of the wall, keeping it off of other cars and uh, yeah, not hitting the curbs and uh, <laughs> Let's try not to blow a motor. The car is already doing that fun thing where 
when I hit the brakes, sometimes it darts left and sometimes it goes straight. So that's gonna be really fun when I'm in traffic and around a bunch of other cars. Really excited for that problem. Carlo. So yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's probably gonna be a lot of cautions, a lot of crashes and oh yeah that's that's a wreck oof yeah that's about the worst spot i think you can be stuck <laughs> stopped in the middle of the road like that Hello. my goodness but yeah i'm sure this race is gonna be a mess let's qualify Hello. and see where we're gonna start this mess Hello. 20.5 from Rusty. 20.4 from Ricky Rudd. My goodness. Yeah, we're not great. Go, 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 go. So yeah, 20.29 is the best lap we have run ever. I... I'm quite sure we're not going to get super close to that, but we will see. Don't hit the curb. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the inside wall. This is not going to be a good lap at all, <laughs> but at least we didn't crash and we won't be starting last. All right, let's see where we play. Yeah, 22 flat. That is awful that's gonna start us 25th thankfully on the bottom but still in the back half of the pack that is rough i did not have high hopes but uh i am still disappointed hello and welcome to a piece of racing history the martinsville speedway in south central virginia Martinsville was opened before NASCAR was even founded. It's one of the sport's original tracks. This paperclip shaped half mile has grown from a dusty pioneer to a beautiful racing facility with personality and unique challenges every time. Thanks, Alan. Get set. The race is going green. All right. Oh, oh boy. Carlo, All right. Three wide. Oh my There's goodness. The out. Oh my goodness. That is, There's I right. think, cars out. without blowing a motor, that is the worst start <laughs> we have ever had to a race. Ever. Like, oh my, what is going on up there? Oh my, it's a it's a gridlock <laughs> oh my goodness we're probably gonna lose a lap fixing damage i'm gonna do no fuel no tires just fix it as fast as possible goodness gracious and we hit the wall going into the pits oh man come on bucket heads get those wrenches and get working quick we're like half a lap behind already. There's no way we don't lose a lap. Oh yeah. Repairs a minute. There's no way we don't lose a lap. Man, now I just hope we don't lose two. My goodness. Well, I guess on the bright side, we didn't blow a motor. So we're still in it. But, uh... Wow, what a start. <laughs> All right, hurry up. We we get to start on the front row. Let's get back there. All right, it's nothing personal, Jeff, but the only way I'm getting my lap back is... Did I get my lap back? <laughs> I was just pre-apologizing because I was definitely going to wreck him. 
But, uh, I think I just got my lap back. Um, all right, so pretty bad luck to start, but, uh, all right. Cool beans. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Carlo. Carlo. Yeah, no, don't worry. You guys can all just pass me. I Carlo. I shouldn't I shouldn't be on the lead lap anyways. Oh, that was <laughs> that was the wildest sequence of events to get back on the lead lap anyways, so Thankfully, we have no damage, I believe. Oh yeah, we have, you know, the 1% of aero damage from the earlier wreck, but that was a great lap. essentially, we're fine. Now we just have to do our best to not crash while we move through the field, which is going to be fun. Oh, bud. Stay low. Still there. All clear. Come on. There we go. Thanks for giving me the bottom, Bye. friends. Stay low. Still there. That was a great lap. You're all clear. All right, I'm slowly getting like some sort of rhythm, obviously with cars everywhere. It's difficult, but still being able to just run a few green laps in a row is, uh, is a big help just to, you know, get the, get the rhythm going again. But, and we have a Still long, long way to go in this race. That was a great lap. Stay low. Still there. I'm sure Terry has some damage because why else would he have pit earlier? But it is nice Carlo. to Clear low. pass somebody like that on speed and then kind of chop his nose. So sorry about that. <laughs> But yeah, lap one, when we crashed, I was very worried, especially when it popped up, the engine was running rough. And then by lap There's three or four, clear high. That was a great lap. by lap three or four, we were already a lap down and I was, oh, oh, sorry, You're everybody. Was out. Yeah, that was, that was bound to happen. Carlo, you're all clear. Oh, come. Ugh. I always forget that they slow down right before the line. And I've got engine damage again, so I have to pit now. Well, we're going to the back again. <laughs> come on, bucket heads. Quite a few cars in front of us are pitting this time. Thankfully, we are still on the lead lap and our car still works. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Still there. Carlo. It looks like we will be 13 laps short on fuel. I can't imagine that we're able to save that much. I was going to say, I also can't imagine we don't get any more cautions. Carlo. There's a spin in turn three. I 
I honestly can't believe that wasn't a caution, but also this game is wild with what they what they do and don't call. So I probably could have expected that one, but uh, we didn't take damage. I didn't need to Arca break it in there <laughs> and uh, wreck with everybody else. So at least we have that positive. We didn't wreck. Look at that, our best lap ever. Amazing what happens when you have clean air. Car high, car low, clear high. You're all clear. All right, question of the week. Have you, and if you have not, do you plan to try the new chicken Big Mac? I absolutely love the Big Mac and I love the McChickens so when they announced they were doing a chicken Big Mac at McDonald's I was very excited to try it on Friday night I was at a car show and I didn't eat for probably close to 12 hours <laughs> and I stopped at McDonald's on the way home and got a chicken Big Mac and I'm sure part of it was just that I hadn't eaten like all day but my goodness, that thing at midnight was absolutely delicious. So let me know down below. Have you tried it? Do you plan on trying it? Does it sound gross? Let me know. And you know, back to racing. It is nice that like I've been able to pretty much keep up with Kurt Busch while he's going through the slower cars. Like normally the uh, quote unquote real drivers you know pull no way man. away from me when we're trying to run through traffic so it's it's really Not refreshing clear. that like you know while we're not crazy fast we're also not like terribly slow Carlo clear low that being said, we're also not very good, so Clear low. maybe they're just not that good. I don't know. I do Car also low. need to uh, start lifting a little earlier because okay, that's the halfway mark. I, I have definitely been... Uh, <laughs> been overcooking it in the corners quite a quite a bit. Turn three. Oh, hi, fake Jimmy Johnson. Stay low, still there. Clear high. I guess green flag pit stops have started, and we are slowly moving through the field thanks to All those. Clear. We've still got 19 laps of fuel, so I'm planning on running this until the... Oh no, oh no, oh we're fine, okay. Well, we lost a few spots, but uh, <laughs> we didn't crash. That is a big plus. You're all clear. But yeah, what I was saying was, I am going to run until I run out of fuel or until they throw a caution because I just spun out Dale Jr. Yeah, the right front is wearing really badly. The, the handling is definitely going away from the car now, but uh, No 
there. Clear we'll eye. see what happens. So it looks like we are eighth. I would assume that is of the eight guys that pit at the same time that we did. Um, it's currently showing we are 11 laps short, so I highly doubt we are able to save that <laughs> by the end, but we are gonna save as much as we can and hope and pray that I'm, I'm really not trying to wreck you, Shauna. Just get out of the way. But we're gonna hope and pray that someone else wrecks and they throw a yellow because I do believe a very large portion of the track is a lap or more down at the moment. So if a caution comes out and like we're the last guy on the lead lap in eighth, that would be a very, very okay situation for me. Still there, plenty to go. 20 to go, nine laps of fuel. I don't think we're saving that no matter how hard we try, but we are gonna try. All clear. Car low. Now the biggest worry is the leader Carlo. is only, you know, four or five seconds behind us on track. Go so on we, uh, we can't ride around here too slow trying to save fuel. All clear. Ricky Rudd is driving like a maniac back there. Carlo, all clear. I don't know how in the world there has not been a caution yet. <laughs> I have been almost spun out. <laughs> I've almost spun someone out. Ricky Rudd has almost spun himself out. Carlo. It is madness out here. All clear. Ricky, what are you doing? Car high. Oh my Clear goodness. High. There's a spin in turn one. The yellow's out. That was that was a lot of cars. <laughs> oh, the car has been getting really bad under braking, so I I guess I over braked, but jeez, that was rough. I already tagged the wall. Everything is great. Clear high. All clear. 
I didn't even pay attention to how many laps we had to go. I was just trying not to hit the wall. Ten laps to go. All right, ten to go. Still there. We are somehow in eighth. We are somehow on the lead lap, and we have enough fuel to get us to the end. All clear. Oh. There is a lot of smoke everywhere. There's a spin in turn four. You're Lovely. I am headed towards turn four. Oh boy, sorry, Hello. Ken. I uh might have been a bit late on the brakes there. Carlo. John, you are not for position. Leave me alone. Still there. You're all clear. All clear. Well, we caught the curb again, but we're fine. That's a lot of smoke again. Somehow everyone's pointed the right direction. Clear high. Stay off the curb. Can't turn when you hit the curb. Okay, we have five to go. We are in the top ten. I probably won't make up these couple spots to get that top five because... That was your best lap ever. Well, I was going to say I'm not driving very well, but then I just ran my best lap ever, so... Maybe I'm amazing, and I just don't know it. And then I pull off a set of corners like that, and it's like, no, Austin, you're terrible. Don't lie to yourself. Stay low. Still there. Clear high. I am trying my darndest. Two to go. But I don't think I'm gonna get any more spots without flat out wrecking somebody. I think Ken probably saw how I looked in his mirror and thought it was probably a better idea to just let me go. Thanks, lap, Ken. Lap. What a mess. I think one more lap of this and we would have got another spot or two. But uh, hey, we got the on the move award. That's pretty sweet. Radical. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was quite a race. I am dumbfounded that we finished that well, but Definitely not complaining, that is for sure. So amazingly, we were less than five seconds behind the leader. I mean, what a day. Like, compared to the first five laps, how bad I thought it was gonna go versus how we actually finished. What a day. <laughs> And even with the pretty healthy chunk <laughs> that we spent in repair fees, we still walk away on the weekend with $80,000. Let's go. Of course, Casey Atwood finished like right in front of us and Ken Schrader finished like right behind us. So we didn't really make up any ground 
you know, on the guys behind us or the guys in front of us, but still looking pretty good in the standings. Cannot complain with a top 25 points finish my first year out. Well, friends, that's going to do it for another episode. As always, I want to say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.